Hi everybody, this is Scott Johnston with North Beach Community TV and NorthBeachNow.com and I am with the City of Ocean Shores Public Works Director, Mr. Nick Bird. And while I get behind the camera, Nick is going to tell us about the fact that Ocean Shores is about to be in a stage one water emergency what it means, why we don't need to panic, and what all of us Ocean Shores residents can do to to try to help the situation. Is, is that about sum up what we're going to talk about? Yes, sir. All right, then I'm going to give you the mic, and I'll get behind the camera. So, go for it. All right, thank you, Scott. So, as you may have noticed, uh, the City of Ocean Shores issued a release this morning identifying that we are looking at a uh, or intending to issue a, a stage one water emergency effective Monday, uh, June 21st. What that means is that we're trying to create awareness uh, about a potential uh, occurrence as it relates to a shortage of chemical, uh, specifically for our water treatment facility that we have here behind us. Our limitation right now is that we have approximately 30 days of chemical uh, left. And so, you know, based on information that, that we were aware of as of yesterday, uh, we did not know what sort of timeline we would be looking at as it related to receiving the chemical uh, to, to process water. Now, as the press release indicates, it's not that the City of Ocean Shores will not be able to produce water or deliver water to your home. Without disinfection products, it changes how you're gonna use the, um, your drinking water. And so at this stage in the game, you know, we're still four weeks plus or minus away from you know, having any of those, those major concerns. And so part of what the, the stage one emergency is, is intended to do is provide an indicator or, or a, a notification to the public that we have a, a potential concern and based on that potential concern, uh, we can modify our use. And so, as the release indicated, the whole objective at this point in time is just to get people aware of how they're using their water. Is it, um, you know, are we using you know, water to, to wash our dishes on a daily basis? Can that be done you know, on a less frequent basis? Or um, washing our cars, irrigating our lawn, you know, those sorts of things. And so the intent really is to create awareness of how you're using water, not to, uh, to identify that we are in, <laughs> we're not in a boil water notice at this point in time. And so the expectation is, is that uh, we're gonna closely monitor this. We're gonna, we're gonna watch and see what our chemical supplier is capable of providing. And at, hopefully at some point in the near future, we're, we're gonna get news that we will have chemical incoming and all of this will, will be put behind us. The objective at this point in time though, again, I cannot reiterate this enough, the whole objective of this is to create awareness uh, that something could happen in the future, but at this point in time, everything is, is fine. Uh, your water is safe. Uh, it, it is uh, uh, just as it always has been and, and it will remain so uh, until we move forward into further stages. Now, the secondary piece associated with that press release was, uh, talking about the concept of moving potentially into stage two. Stage two, a stage two emergency in Ocean Shores, and all of this is defined by the Ocean Shores Municipal Code. A stage two emergency indicates voluntary compliance with uh, uh, conservation efforts. And so we're not even to that point yet. The whole objective of stage one is just to create awareness. Stage two is to then start talking about voluntary compliance on uh, conservation efforts. And so again, at this point in time, the objective is to make sure that people are aware uh, of a potential issue coming forward. And uh, that's the principal issue of issuing that release. And Nick, I've, I've got one quick question for you. Um, okay, we're not in stage two. Uh, I'm a homeowner here, should I be doing anything? Should I lay off watering my lawn and washing my car right now? I would say it, it, at this point in time, the objective would be to wait an, until we look at stage two. Um, and, and let me rephrase that. The best thing to do is wait until we hit stage two. That's when we start asking for voluntary compliance of water conservation. Right now, it's just a matter of thinking about where you could conserve in the event that 
we do move on to, to subsequent phases. All right, so folks, that's the situation. Um, it may be coming. I think uh, uh, more than anything, what we're saying right now is, is pay attention, and as it develops, uh, we'll let you know here via North Beach Community TV and NorthBeachNow.com, and uh, with information from Ocean Shores Public Works Director Nick Bird. Thanks a lot, Nick. Thank you.